8 Things That Will Happen After The Demise Of Queen Elizabeth II The Buckingham Palace Will Go Black As soon as she passes away, the news will be broadcasted all across the world. It will undoubtedly spread via modern news technology such as social media. The news will also be updated on the royal family's official website, the announcement will be shown on its home page. Keeping up with the tradition, a footman in black clothes will post a black-edged notice to the gates of Buckingham Palace. The palace and the website will go black. The Queen's family will be seen in black. And the reporters will also wear black on camera as a sign of respect and sadness. Television programs will change. Queen Elizabeth has been on the throne for quite a while, and her demise will be a sad day for the entire country. Just like the royal weddings, Queen's funeral will also be televised. There is just one thing about the funeral that you won't see. The camera operators will not film the grief of royal family members. All the funny content will be removed from the schedule of the BBC and other news channels. They will have to rearrange all other programs to accommodate recent news updates. Code words will be spoken. An in-depth investigation was done by The Guardian and according to them, after receiving the news of her demise from the doctor, the Queen's private secretary will call the Prime Minister and say, London Bridge is down. The 15 governments where the Queen is head of state and the 36 nations in the Commonwealth will be called by Britain's Foreign Office to let them know the sad news. She is the longest reigning British monarch and is one of the most powerful people in the world. All money across the nation will change. If you look at the British money, you will see that all the British money features an image of Queen Elizabeth II. She is the Queen, and therefore, she is on the money. After her demise, when the crown passes to Prince Charles, all of the money across the nation will change. And it will take a maximum of 10 days for the money to change and print the new heir of the throne. The line of succession will change. Queen Elizabeth has been there for so many years that it is quite difficult to imagine the palace without her. But passing away is immortal. And so, after the demise of Queen Elizabeth, the throne will be given to Prince Charles. And after that, Prince Williams will take his place and will become the Prince of Wales. Kate would technically become Princess of Wales after that, but there is a possibility that she might decline the title. So, after Prince William, his children will be next in line for the throne. Prince Charles will pick his name. Did you know that the British monarchs are allowed to pick their own ruling name? When they take the throne, they can decide on a new name and from then, people will address him slash her by that name. For example, the name of King George VI, the Queen's father, was Prince Albert. But he changed it after taking the throne. There are two assumptions regarding the name that Charles will choose. It will be George after his grandfather or Philip after his father. Or he might keep his original name and become King Charles III. It was easier for Queen Elizabeth as the name recalls another of England's great queen, Elizabeth I. So, she decided to keep her birth name. King Charles will leave for a royal tour. After the demise of Queen Elizabeth, the entire country might be in chaos and so, King Charles won't have much time to mourn. He will have to start working immediately. And his first royal order of business will be to visit all the home countries that include British Isles, England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. He will be meeting with the leaders of those places along the way and will be discussing the future plan. His visit will not be restricted to the leaders. He will also have to meet people and will be expected to shake hands and walk around greeting people. All this will be done on a personal level. The Parliament will convene. The government will also be involved as Queen Elizabeth II is officially the head of the state. So, after her demise, Prince Charles will take the throne and become the king. And at that moment, all the members of parliament will gather to swear loyalty to the new monarch. This is to eliminate chaos and ensure a smooth transition.